Hong Kong will elect its new leader on March the 26th. Although many Hong Kongers have pushed for everyone to get a vote, the election system used today is a far cry from universal suffrage. In the US, you can cast your own vote to choose your president. But in Hong Kong, it's a very different story. Not only is Hong Kong's top position called the chief executive, but it's chosen by an election committee. But what's an election committee? Well, it's a group of people that represents some of the population. Hong Kong has a population of more than 7 million people, but not all can vote for the election committee. You need to be in one of the four sectors, each of which comprises of many different subsectors. They range from financial services in sector one, where the banking institutions cast a vote and not the employee, to officials in sector four. Together, that's what they call functional constituencies. In 2016, about 3% of the total population were registered to vote for the 1,200 People Committee. Once chosen, the committee then puts forward candidates for the Chief Executive. A valid candidate has to gain at least 150 nominations. And in previous elections, the candidates go head-to-head -head in a series of TV debates. But although they're broadcast to the whole population, on election day it's only members of the committee that can cast their votes. Whoever gets the absolute majority, or more than 600 votes, wins. In 2012, Hong Kong's current chief executive, Lung Chung Ying, gained just 689 votes from the 1,200 cast. That number became symbolic during the 2014 Occupy protests, and that's how CY Lung got the nickname 689. The number not only represented a small majority, but protesters used it to voice their frustrations with Hong Kong's electoral system, and just how so few votes are needed to elect their leader. Once elected, there's still one more step before the winner's announced. In the US, Congress approves the president, but in Hong Kong, it's the central people's government in Beijing that makes the final call.